Hey y'all, welcome back to Down the Breather Hole. My name is Brian, and today what I want to do is talk about deep cleaning your Twisby Eco cap. If you've got a clear cap on your Twisby Eco like this one, um, chances are you are starting to see, um, if you've been using it for a while, um, ink building up on the inside there. And of course, you can just stick like a paper towel or something rolled up in there and kind of swab out most of the ink. But that doesn't take care of this problem, this dark band that develops around the middle of the cap. This is where the inner cap connects to the outer cap and ink likes to seep in between the two caps where you can't really just wipe it out. So I thought I was stuck with it. If you saw the longevity review of the Twisby Eco I did a few months ago, then you'll know that I kind of talked about that as just one thing that you have to deal with if you have a clear cap on your Twisby Eco. But one of my viewers showed me how to fix this issue. They uploaded a video about it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so simple. So with their permission, I am going to share this tip with you. And I'm also going to link to their video as well if you wanna check out the original video. So let's flip the camera around and we'll get started. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this, obviously, is your Twisby Eco that needs to be cleaned. You'll need some water. I have some here. I would typically do this at the sink, but since I'm making a video, I'm gonna try it with a bowl of water. We'll see if that works. So the video that my viewer made, it's focused on just how to remove this inner cap. So that's what we're gonna do first here. So what you're gonna need is some kind of a pencil. They used, I think, an unsharpened pencil, but I, I was able to get it to work with a sharpened pencil because I don't really have tons of fresh, unused pencils laying around. I'm a pen person, so not a lot of pencils. Anyway, then there's a rubber band, and I might be doing this a little bit differently, um, but same concept. So just kind of stick that rubber band on the end there. I did this with my white Twisby Eco, even though you can't, it's not a demonstrator cap or anything, it still gets ink in there. So I, I decided to try it out and clean it out. And it took some trial and error to get the inner cap out. Maybe it'll be easier with this clear one because I can see what I'm doing. Um, so bear with me if it does take me a minute or two. So we're gonna take this and we're just gonna kind of ram it up in here, gently, gently ram it up in here until that rubber just kind of wedges into that inner cap. And then gently kind of twist it around. Let's see here. Okay, we'll try something else. It's possible that the, the rubber band was too thick. So let's just try one, one side of the rubber band here like that. Okay, so we'll push that up in there. Okay, I think we're gonna get a better grip with this. Okay, so that inner cap is moving a little bit. Just twist it and gently pull and out it comes. So that is what your inner cap looks like. All right, so I've got a paper towel here and I have some Q-tips. You can decide what you wanna use, but this is what I've got. So I'm gonna take a dry Q-tip first and just see how much ink I can get out of there with a dry one. So I'm getting a lot kind of smeared around in there. Wow, that's actually coming out really, really well just with a dry Q-tip. Okay, now I'm gonna take a wet one and try to catch all of that residue that the dry part left over. Okay, look at all that. So, as you can see here, it's pretty doggone clean now. I don't really see any ink smudges. Obviously there's some water in there. Um, so you'll want to let that dry. I'm going to try to swab that out with a paper towel here. Okay. So I've got my paper towel. Just slide that around in there. And that should be enough. That should be dry enough. So <laughs> blow out any paper particles in there. All right. So that part is done. Now I've got this to deal with. So I'm gonna take a, a fresh Q-tip here, dip that in some water, and just run it up in there. And this part, 
a lot of it you could do with the inner cap inside the pen. But um, since I have it right here, I might as well just go for it. Okay, so that's looking much better. Now this part around here would be tougher to get um, if you weren't going to remove the inner cap. So I'll make sure to get that good and clean before putting it back in. I'm just smearing ink around. That's okay, just use this. Okay. Get any of that paper residue off of there. And look at that, totally clean. I wasn't really sure how well this would work because you know, some inks can be kind of stain happy and if you leave them in there too long, they might uh, be permanent. But um, I'm pleased to say everything came out. That is that is pretty cool. So now all you have to do is pop it back in there and then take your pencil. I don't think you need the rubber band this time. And you just kind of give it a gentle push until it hits kind of the, the top of the cap and you're done. So I hope that is helpful um, in cleaning your Twisby Ecos and making them look nice and brand new again. And uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you later. Bye.